Ah, oh, I'm gonna cook something. I'm going to need a special oven. Right? So, we'll just do it over here. So, you need to find the coordinates of your oven. So, slash TP at P tilde 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 and it should give you your coordinates minus 23593 and then you go in here test for block Remember, it's test for blocks, not test for block. Tilde, tilde one, tilde, tilde, tilde one, tilde, and then your coordinates. So minus twenty three five ninety three. Minus twenty three five ninety three, and that's your first command done. Then here you change this to chain and conditional. Here you do set block, and then your coordinates minus twenty three. Five ninety three air. Next one again, chain and conditional kill at E square brackets item. No, at E type equals item that's that done you can also do type equals um exclamation mark player but that kills all animals it, it kills everything except for you so item is best when you've done that, you close that, and then here you do fill uh, clone tilde tilde one tilde 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 one tilde and then your coordinates minus twenty three five ninety three oh and make sure this is chain and conditional and that's the command unit so I'll teleport myself to the right place TP minus twenty three Mm. at p minus 23 5 93 perfect we now know that we've built it correctly so now we can place in whatever block you want your oven to be it can be any block that has an inventory so you could do a hopper 
then you need a hopper here or you could do a chest on both sides the chest can have the most complicated recipes if you want but you can also have cheaper um, things you could also just put in a furnace which or a dispenser you can basically put any block in I'm gonna do a furnace because it kind of fits with the oven theme so you put a furnace on both sides and then we need an item that we want to cook so say if you cook sunflowers you want to get um let's say these melon seeds so then in the input fuel you can't put some flowers in I forgot that say you want to have you want to cook Where's something that you can cook? Normally they're in here. So when you cook a an egg, can an egg go in? No, it can't. That's strange. Say you want raw chicken. Let's make raw pork chop. If you put in only a raw pork chop, Say you put in five raw pork chops, and for fuel, you have a single piece of coal, like so. So put in your I think it would actually be better if we don't use a furnace because it's, it's a bit confusing me. I think I will choose, um, for the sake of simplicity, oh, an oven shaped block, say a dropper. And then if we face the dropper up, and there that and in your custom oven you put five pork chops you want to get out some special item you can use commands or whatever to do that but I'm just going to use Manville and rename um, seeds no cooked pork chop that actually looks better I will put in five and call it bacon because bacon's awesome B that's not how you spell bacon that's bacon bacon take that out and put it in here so it gives you bacon. Next, something that's down my alley, redstone. You do this and here, and you get yourself redstone dust, and you make yourself a clock. It, um, by me, it lags quite a bit. So here's the speed of my clock, I think I'll just make it a bit slower, oops, and that's, yep, that's right, and then if you want to add another recipe, you just build one of these 
modules again. Get the pig out of the way. Let's turn on our oven. Then we can go inside. Get ourselves our oven block again. No, it was a dropper. It has to be exactly the same. If your dropper faces up in one time, it has to face up in the other one. So let's put in our bay I mean our raw pork chops which are here. One, two, three, four, five. Go out, go but one very important thing. Always active. Always active. And always active. It shouldn't lag too much. It's because they're conditional. Oh, I know what happened. So let's try and fix, let's put those back in again. Five. And look, we get bacon. Isn't that awesome? You've now got yourself a completely customizable oven. I wonder, can you even change the name of the dropper? I mean, inside to call it um, Super Oven 10,000 or something.